yeah, so here we are, I just started, I haven't really done a vlog before, but I've got a new 360 camera, which apparently uh, should be floating invisibly in front of us. Uh, if you look down here, you can see the thread bow, meandering down the creek, or down the, uh, the valley. Cascade hut to the other hut, which is in my, it's in my hut. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> well, you don't need to wake up for the camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, there you go. Deep post. Right, I'm leaving Xavier behind. He's obviously no more used to me anymore. The survival's the fittest out here. I would say. There's probably going to be some paperwork to do, but honestly, you just got to keep on going. And we had a bit of snow last night. It's even more like Narnia in here. But at least it's about five to ten centimetres. Pretty easy to walk through, you're not plunging through. So hopefully we'll be able to get to tin mines within today. Um, then from there, so we're a day behind schedule now. But we should have enough food to make us make the way through to Tom Grogan. Yep, one day in, one day behind. How that happen? <laughs> yeah, so we kicked our ass yesterday. Anyway, just enjoying the snow. <laughs> so, mission successful. Saw the source of a river. Yeah. Uh, the Murray, the mighty Murray. So, now only a few thousand kilometers to go to the ocean. Yeah. Uh, just making our way to the campsite. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. See the right. sun's actually setting now? Yeah, just over there. So we're just walking past the exclusion fences here and the enclosures. Uh, they are part of a long-term monitoring project. So you, you can see here where the horses aren't able to get in and then the stark difference from when the horses can't get in. In fact we can just go have a look over here. I can see the river coming down and it's coming down into this exclusion zone. And it looks like a muddy mess on this side. And then over here, um, looks quite nice over there. So these ecosystems are not adapted for heavy, hard-hoofed animals. And you can just really see the damage that these horses have on such a fragile ecosystem. Mm. An incredibly frosty night last night. Uh, but we are now on the banks of the Murray and following it down in the annoying first part of any source to uh, see a uh, trip where we've not actually got enough water flow to float anything. Hopefully that changes later today. It's all off trail today, so moving could be quite slow depending on the bush. <laughs> well, <laughs> so we gave it a good crack. Um, it was, it was pretty bad in there. It started off okay, uh, and then I was just too slow moving to it, moving through it. So, we, it'd take another, all of today, spend the night, all of tomorrow, at least, to get through. We've covered about, as the crow flies from camp, about two kilometers <laughs> in five hours. <laughs> pretty slow right? Um, that's including, so we've just started to climb up um, and try and hit the uh, Alps Trail again, or one of the fire trails, I forget what it's called. It's about another 300 metres up the hill. We've been going for ten and a half hours. 
<laughs> this walk around's been more epic than some walks I've been on. <laughs> so it started off okay, it was all nice following some nice management trail. And then we got onto some four wheel drive track, which is about like, how many climbs? Too many climbs and descents. Four wheel drivers seem to love the ridges and going up and going straight back down rather than contouring. Um, not far to camp now. Well, we hope, I mean, we hope. At this point, if there's not a detour for 20 kilometers, I think that would be pretty much part of the course. Yeah, this is our second day of paddling. Uh, yesterday was pretty short, but good. Uh, made some good kilometers, pretty easy compared to the walking. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just enjoying the day. Got, we had good weather yesterday and today. Um, bit of frost this morning, so it was a bit cold getting into our uh, white water gear this morning and drying up the pack grass. Everything was frozen. Yeah, but a lot different to just a couple of days ago. Uh, this is our second day of pack rafting. We started yesterday. Uh, pretty short day. We did a lot of filming and other stuff. We slept in a bit from the day before. Uh, yeah, just a short day, but made some good kilometres compared to <laughs> the day before. Uh, so, yeah, pretty pretty nice travelling. Mainly floating class one, a couple of class twos in there. Anyway, um, I mean, we should have picked up a food drop yesterday, so we're, we're kind of, I don't know, two days away from eating our boots. Yeah. I'm down to mashed potatoes, which is my emergency meal. And of course, this beer about 20 kilometers away, which is always a good motivator. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, beautiful in here. The campsite was amazing last night. Uh, ducks. Um, yeah, it's been pretty good. Saw some platypuses yesterday. Uh, it's been pretty, pretty nice end to the trip. So, but yeah, just a really nice end to the river. Lots of calm pools like this, and then a few class two rapids to keep things interesting. So, yeah, it's a good day, good way to end the trip. Alright, so we're back on the Murray after a bit of a break. It's I guess it's hard to break into back into an expedition after you uh, take a bit of time back in civilization, but I feel like last night sort of got us in the mood. We're uh, back getting into the gorgy section. You can see it tightening up and starting to get a bit, uh, a bit more constricted and a bit more fun, should we say. Yeah, so this is the start of the gates. Um, we started at Tom Grogan yesterday. We had a really tough two-hour day. It's actually been really nice to have just a really easy day yesterday get ready for a really long day today. Should be fun, some three plus water in there. Be yep. a long, fun day. Beautiful weather, bit of rain yesterday, but it should be really fun today. I've got a paddle with two sides on it and a new pack raft. Here we are at uh, Indy Bridge Reserve. You might be able to see the bridge just in the background there. So it's been uh, two days since we left from Murray Gates camp. Yeah. It's been, yeah, it's been good. The gates wasn't as long as we expected in terms of difficult white water. It really wasn't. Yeah. The gates. <laughs> yeah. It was all right. It was uh, some strong class three. It was a little bit low, I guess. Uh, certainly not enough to get a full raft through, but like with the pack raft, it was, actually, it was kind of fun. Yeah, it was good. And now we're at idyllic, an idyllic campsite yeah. with, uh, yeah, drying out our stuff, which you can see over here. Definitely left the National Park behind about the beginning of the yeah. day. And that happened like, bam, <laughs> yeah. you're in farmland. 
suddenly there's cows and there's willows and there's just like no native uh, vegetation at all. Yeah. Um, we're just in English countryside. I mean, it, it is quite beautiful. It's just quite jarring to go from uh, high country fauna to farm. So, the end of the start. Yeah, that's Brigadbrung Bridge. So, this is where I'll come back and do the sea kayaking. And this is where most people normally start from. They miss out on a lot of fun, as you would have seen. But... Yeah, it's, it's good to get from the source and not just here. I feel like the river has really changed. Like today, it stopped being more gravelly racing. Now it's quite flat. Um, so the kayak's definitely going to be nice to change over to. Yeah, we definitely have addressed with the um, whitewater gear from now. Like we haven't seen much any whitewater the whole day. Yeah. Oh, we're coming up to the bridge. Hopefully we're going to miss those. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to be able to start from... Uh, exactly where it's come from. Like the snow line and the uh, um, horse damage and... Yeah. And you, as you can see it's completely different vegetation to what we've had. So it'll be interesting to see the changes over the next part of the trip. But yeah, completely different to what we had up top. And here we go, back across the bridge. Yeah, it's, um, I mean... It's, it's beautiful. It was just very jarring going from high country alpine to farmland. I mean, it was a really nice farmland, but yeah. And here we are, bridge. Yeah, quite the trip. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I guess uh, the next time uh, we're back here is when we're doing two months on it. Well, you're doing it. I'm just sitting in an air conditioned car. Probably listening to the plane. Uh, see you next time. Right. Mm-hmm.